Good morning. I have you up on my windowsill, so you're a little bit high for me. But welcome to today's vlog. Today I am going to be just bringing you on a regular day in my life. It's a Thursday for me today. So I actually only have one class today, which is so nice. And I can't unfortunately record it because it's a class where they like specifically told us like you cannot share anything from this class or record it because it's a very, um, here I'll set you up here. It's a bit more of a intimate class because it's theology of suffering. So we talk about topics, people share things, you know, that are meant to be for a smaller group. I'm drinking some turmeric ginger tea turmeric helps with inflammation not that i think they're inflamed but that's the only fact i know about turmeric so i'm gonna share it um yeah from trader joe's and i honestly don't love the taste of it so that's a bummer but i know it's good for me and i already made it so i had it just chilling in my fridge last night i put some lemon juice in it and some honey um I need to get ready for the day. I have chapel in a little bit, which I hopefully will be able to record for you. And yes, should I record myself getting ready? I know I need to wash my face. I have this honking zit. I shouldn't have picked at it, but it was so big and it looked like it was ready to be bought. For the last time, it's me. All right. up. I just decided to wear a sweater today. Mama needs dry shampoo because it's just I need to exercise today. I didn't exercise yesterday and I've been trying to do better about it because my sleep hasn't been the greatest this semester, um, which usually isn't a problem for me, but I need to, I, I'm just trying to do everything I can. Well, not everything, but I'm getting there to do everything I can to try to ensure that I get the best quality of sleep. And I know exercise helps with making sure that you're like using up your body's energy and when you go to bed at night, you know, you should be more tired, you'd think, if you exercised. I probably didn't even know all that, but. I feel like whenever I wear green, I just want to do makeup because I just love the way the color green makes me feel. Like, it makes me feel so, like, put together and, I don't know. This is my, like, little jewelry bin that I have. It's probably not really. Oh, here, this is a better place to put you. This is my little jewelry bin. I like have not had a chance to wear this bangle, but I just think it's so darling. Do people call this a bangle? I don't know why. I just I think it's called a bangle. But um, I think I'm going to wear this green ring. I like this green ring. I think the the silver details are really pretty. Um, and then. This just kind of strikes me as just a gold hoop type type of thing. I think every time I've worn this sweater, I've worn a gold hoop, actually, now that I think about it. Can I just say, I got this uh, sweater like a couple weeks ago. I think I've actually maybe only worn it once. Maybe, no, I've worn it once. And the day that I wore it, I was like, oh, Taylor, you just gotta be really careful that you don't spill anything on it. And what did I do? 
and you wouldn't believe what got on it. Olive oil. Oh! And it really wasn't even my fault. I was just carrying something that had like apparently touched olive oil because like I was carrying some ingredients. Not even olive oil. I was carrying honey and it had olive oil on the bottom of it. What in the name of Davy Jones Locker just got on this thing right now? I only have a little bit of time. I feel like I could wear a little makeup today and it would look cute. Maybe some mascara. How much time do I have? Okay, I have about 10 minutes. I feel like I show this in like every video, but, or like every time I do my makeup, I just use this NYX powder puff thing uh, for my lips. It gives as much or as little color as you want because you can kind of use the squeezy tube to get the color out. I rarely squeeze the squeezy tube, honestly. I, I can't even remember the last time I did because color just kind of comes out. And I'll use my um, lip smacker lip gloss or I'll use Vaseline. And today, I'm gonna use Vaseline. Because I feel like it's just a bit more hydrating. Or maybe not, I don't know. I know it's noisy, I have my window open. But anyways, I thought I'd give you an OOTD. Um, and I didn't even use any foundation when I just did my makeup. I actually just did a little bronzer and a little blush and uh, mascara. It's like, oh my gosh, something so wet. Okay, here we go. Let me show you my outfit. linen pants these shoes I wear every day so yeah I will continue and see you on with the day well there you have it I just had chapel and then I got out of class just now picked up a package it's time for me to make lunch wow it is so noisy um okay so I, I found this recipe um, on Instagram. It was like an Instagram reel of this like kale salad with cucumber, hummus, uh, chickpeas, and then like just some ways you can make a natural dressing. Actually, probably the hummus is a part of the dressing. I add goat cheese to it and I put some spring mix in it too. And yeah. I will, oh, and quinoa, hello, how did I forget that? recipe and I bought it so now I feel this pressure like I really need to eat up all this Dijon I bought get a little extra Dijon -y today okay, you know. I really just had to get two seeds in there did Okay, that was way too much. This needs to be dumped. Salt. Pepper. Um, goat cheese. Oh. 
and now I'm feeling like I need a nap. But not until I heat this little number up. This is a hot water bottle. So I'm gonna go put some water on a kettle, heat this up, lay it on me, and just get some shut eye before I do some work. Tonight we're having British Club on my floor. Um, leave a comment down below if you are from the UK. But basically we're gonna be watching Downton Abbey. And it's just funny because there's a few of us on the floor that love Downton Abbey. And so we created a, like a Downton Abbey club. It's open to all, it's not exclusive. So anybody can join and Hopefully we will be getting new people into Downton Abbey, into British soap opera-esque drama. So, yeah. Welcome back to this vlog. Uh, time to fill this thing up. My brain's not really working today. I have nothing to hide. I have nothing to hide. Actually, you know what? Today in uh, chapel, we were singing a song, and one of the lyrics was, your blood poured out for us. And, and I was just standing there thinking about how I was also pouring out blood in a different way, but in a way where I was still like, wow, God, you know, I can relate to you oddly in a completely different way, but in a way where I'm like, hey, at some point in our lives, we both shed blood. Granted, mine can't clear anyone of sins, but I don't really know where I'm going with this other than that uh, I felt like I could relate. Maybe I should repent for that thought. But either way, Jesus and I both bled for different reasons, but Time to fill the sucker up and I clearly need a nap. Um, I was wondering if I could borrow your hot, your kettle to boil some water. Yeah. Maybe people want to know what your room looks like. No, they don't. It's so messy. Yeah. But that's rocks. cute. That's really cute actually right there. I got them seashells, but they keep burying them. for me to wake up and do some work. I'm not gonna lie. I just went in my friend's room and took some of her trail mix. She knows though. She's been letting me have the caramel bits in her trail mix because she doesn't like them. I don't know why she doesn't like them. She doesn't like caramel in her trail mix. So I said, fine with me. I'll take those puppies over for you. I have been struggling this week a little bit with food more than normal. And for those of you that have watched our channel for a while, you know that we um, went through a... Ashley and I both went through rough patches in our eating and me with binge eating and things like that, just emotional eating in general. Um, and this past summer, I kind of got out of the habit of emotional eating, although now that I think about it, I kind of wonder if I did because my anxiety made me not as hungry. Whereas normally, like, I kind of have this hum of stress. And I think when I'm stressed about things, did I just morph this into two? 
Um, normally when I'm stressed about things, just like regular everyday stress, it makes me eat more. Um, but the summer it was like anxiety, anxiety, if you know what I mean. So I made me not hungry and in a weird way I was like, oh, thank goodness I'm not overeating for once in my life because normally I just, if I'm stressed, I just turn to food, which I've been trying to work on for a very long time. But that mixed with like an eating disorder made it a little bit difficult um, to distinguish or to like, you know, because not eating makes you feel restricted, which makes you bend. It's a whole thing. I've just been fighting a lot of old thoughts that I've had in the past, and it's discouraging. Like, really feeling tempted to, like, weigh myself every day, which I have been doing in a while. And I, and I haven't given in to that temptation yet. Um, and also just feeling, like, so dissatisfied with the way that I look. It's illogical. It's illogical, but for some reason it feels so real. So that's been discouraging this past week. Um, yeah. I hope it's just something that I'm gonna get over soon, I don't know. Yeah. This has been an interesting past couple of weeks. I've been getting so, so many zits. So many zits. And also just feeling discouraged with food. Weird. It's been weird. I don't know if the enemy's trying to attack me in that regard, but like, in terms of my spiritual life, okay, can you see this little baby curl? But in terms of my spiritual life, I really have been thriving. And I have this childlike faith that God has blessed me with in this season. I don't know if it'll be forever, but I'm just soaking it in right now. And I have moments of like, wow, you really haven't been wrestling a lot with your faith lately or you haven't been feeling discouraged and I've been feeling this continual fire and desire and hunger for God uh, morning and night and it hasn't gone away which <laughs> it's crazy I just feel like I haven't had that in forever forever and it's not like I'm having grand revelations <laughs> actually I've been having some grand revelations but I haven't been having like the most amazing quiet times you've ever seen in the existence of your life every day but it's still uh this something that i just really desire going back to god uh, morning and night it is time for british club british club is where we watch down abby on our floor it um is a new group that we're starting up for those of us that like Down Abbey, and we want people to join in on the love. Today? Yeah, you did. This is really? literally <laughs> amazing. <laughs> you definitely oh my gosh. Um, this is going in my vlog. This is Pat Mall. So this is Brayden. She is the um, master of these. But also, she's just really good at throwing parties. Would you say that's your special skill? Um, I like homemaking, and mm. I like like being a good host. And yes. So, and I think my mom actually modeled that for me. Aww. So. <laughs> Anyways, so yes, this is my RA. Hey. <laughs> oh gosh. You, it says this video can't play on your device because it doesn't reach HDCP content protection oh, standards. Interesting. Do you, wanna, do you want to try my laptop? It's a bit crispy over here. I'm talking about somebody from Harry Potter died. Lord Grand wanted to.